for joining me for another hike video in Japan. For this trip, I took a quick trip for my last and final uh, volcano of the season to the uh, Shizuoka or Izu Tobo Peninsula uh, to see uh, Mount Omuro, which is a, a uh, one of the more recognized uh, kind of center cone uh, volcanoes of what are called a uh, monogenetic um, volcanoes. Uh, the Izu Peninsula is full of what is called uh, monogenic volcanoes, which are volcanoes that erupt once and then uh, pretty much stopped erupting. And they erupt uh, in different areas at different times. So I went to see the, again, one of the most prominent uh, ones in that area, which has a very, uh, very noticeable um, center cone uh, outline. Uh, there's also an archery range in the middle. Um, for my trip there, I, I, I didn't take a taxi or bus because I really felt like uh, walking and getting some exercise from a couple days off uh, from some previous volcano uh, hiking ventures. So I, um, in hindsight, I wish I would have taken the taxi or bus because I would have gotten to go to the top and, um, and uh, complete the hike. But, um, but I did get a nice walk around the neighborhood and kind of walk up to the actual, uh, to the actual area. So... Um, but uh, that said, um, here's my all trails uh, outline. Um, I walked in total, I think it was around three kilometers up to the volcano. And then I walked around um, the, uh, what's called a Sakura Park, which is a cherry blossom park that's there. Um, it's probably really beautiful during the um, fe February to April timeframe. Um, most obviously at this time, there weren't any cherry blossoms. All the leaves were pretty bare, which you'll see in the video. Um, I did walk around and I still had my all trails uh, clocking the steps and everything that I was taking to see if there was an avenue to uh, potentially get up to the top of the, uh, the volcano because um, all exits were blocked off, uh, although all trails shows this as an opportunity to hike it. Um, at the time I arrived, um, here they had shut down the chairlifts because of high winds and the weather was changing. But um, again, I'll explain more of that uh, in the video section throughout the end of the video. But um, just wanted to give you kind of this overview of the uh, all trails route that I took um, from Jogosake Station, and then um, you know just kind of an overall 3D schematic of what the actual area looks like and the um, and the cone in that area. So. Uh, that said, off to the video. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's uh, educational to you and kind of gives you some idea of the overall area. Thanks for watching. Uh, so basically, basically, this is it. Uh, I tried all the trail access points, which show there's a trail on the other side of this thing to access, but it shows it's a de designated wildlife preservation area. So all the trails are actually cut off uh, or blocked off or roped off. And there's no, uh, anything that probably was a trail looks looks uh, pretty overgrown doesn't look like an actual trail so um, this looks pretty cool I don't even know what this is over there what oh wow I think this might actually be oh, some sort of cave actually down there that's interesting. It's probably like a lava tube at one point. Um, anyway, I didn't see that coming in. Yeah, all the all the trails appear to be 
closed off, shut off, inaccessible. But definitely, definitely some sort of probably what was a lava tube here, down here. It's pretty cool. Mm. Can you see it? Let's see. Let's see this thing. Not too much. Too much to see from here. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of, uh I thought that I would visit one last uh, volcano, which is kind of going to be the starting point from my next season. Uh, and uh, this is probably the most famous of the uh, Izu Tobu uh, volcanic group. So the Izu Tobu volcanic group is made up of uh, several monogenetic volcanoes. Uh, they erupt once and then they pretty much stop. Uh, there's there's like there's a whole field of them in this region the Shizuoka region is pretty much made up of all those volcanoes which is a slow moving I think it's a and and ascetic uh, magma um, this is the one in the background is the uh, most famous of the of the pyroclastic cones that's in the area there's several pyroclastic cones in the area uh, but this one is Mount Omuro uh, I decided to walk up here from the station and uh, it was about three miles walk. Uh, I thought I was doing the right thing to get some exercise, but I got up here and the weather changed so they had closed the, the lift up here. So I walked around because uh, I saw on all trails that there's a separate like walking trail that you can take all the way up to the top. It turns out that that trail is uh, completely blocked off in all these different areas and it's overgrown. And there's signs and everything that say stop so and i've seen some other signs that say this is designated wildlife area so i don't think that you could probably ever hike to the top from the bottom of mount o muro so i think you will always have to take the chairlift up and then walk the ring uh, there is a nice little park that i'm sitting in which is a um, not sitting standing uh, which is a uh, looks like a cherry blossom park all these cherry trees bathrooms it's pretty well maintained um, right over here to the right let me see if i can turn the camera a little bit um, hold on a second i'm not very good at all this camera stuff yet uh, kind of hidden in those trees down below is a uh, lava tube area. I'll try to see if I can show some pictures on the video. Um, but I uh, thought that was pretty cool. Once I, there's a little kind of trail around it. And I walked around that and uh, you can look deep down into it. It looks like there's like caves and you know, there's probably all kinds of stuff down in there. Uh, as far as, you know, insects, birds, spiders, all that kind of stuff. But Anyway, uh, this is it. Uh, again, using Takasaki Gunma as my geographic center and where I'm kind of my base of operations. Uh, I assessed that I'd just do one more quick trip uh, before, I, before I departed. And uh, this was gonna be it. Um, in the, uh, so 
Mount Omuro is in the uh, Shizuoka Prefecture. Uh, is that right? Shizuoka area. Uh, Izu Peninsula. Um, well known for really good seafood. Um, yeah, this is as far as I can make it today, so I probably just um, go and get something to eat, take some more pictures where I can, and then I'll use this as a starting point for uh, probably next season, and then we'll go from there. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's anything else that you know about the area, please feel free to uh, fill me in. Uh, I just got here today, and I've only been in the area for probably a couple hours just walking up here. So. Um, I was hoping to get up to the top. I'm actually going to walk around and see for some reason if there's a glimpse of hope that they might have opened up the chairlift again, given that it has stopped raining and the sun is maybe coming out again. So we'll see. We'll see if they, uh, they do. But uh, thanks. Bye.